Hi, everybody. Okay. It's Agnes, and I've got a really great interview lined up for you. Cynthia has come to join us to share while she is right in the middle of a manifestation, and Cynthia is in Seattle, USA. Welcome, Cynthia. Nice to see you. Hello. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Kind of ner nervous, but... <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It's, um, I mean, you know my interviews, they're pretty casual and relaxed, and you know, you could have wore your pajamas too if you wanted to. That's about as <laughs> casual as it gets. <laughs> so... You <laughs> sent me a fabulous email with a great story and I'm going to hand it over to you for where it all started, what you did and how you got to where you, you know, the, the manifestation. Yeah. So, um, I have been working in the marketing and visual media field for a long time, but, um, I actually went back to get my education after my kids we're starting to go back to school so but of finishing that degree and with all this experience I went to find a job and I ended up in a, a really good uh, marketing job um, and I'd been there for about a year and a half um, and it was kind of a longer commute so it kind of like messed with our family time and you know all of that but but it was a beautiful commute so you know it was like that <laughs> um, but some things at work were starting to happen and I don't want to really dwell on it but it I became very uncomfortable there and mostly related to relationships, not necessarily the work. Yeah. Um, and it started to trickle into all areas of my life. I would be home on the weekends and just having anxiety and my family was noticing it and I just dreaded going back and yeah. Um, anyway, and you start to internalize it. You think it's you and um, you just, I just was focusing though for a while on all the things that were wrong yeah. And um, with law of attraction, that's something that I've used a lot in my life. I, when I first started using it, I didn't even know I was using it um, <laughs> yeah. when I was younger. But then later, I was in, um, I was just a stay-at-home mom, and I think I first heard about it um, from Oprah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, kind of landed in great. And then I read lo lots of books about it and watched videos and stuff. And I... So anyway, during this time, I stumbled across your videos about finding new work, and I hadn't heard about Neville at all. Um, so I was really excited to kind of find somebody else that I could, you know, kind of investigate and learn from. So um, anyway, I, but your meditations, I, I happen to be kind of ADD. So if it's a meditation that takes a really long time to get to the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> I really liked how you, you just have the breathing techniques first and then we kind of get to it. And so it's quick and effective for me anyway. Mm. Um, so, um, so I started some of the techniques that you recommended. Um, one, of, one of my favorites was um, talking about the things that you would miss when you left. Yes. And um, in particular, yeah. And I knew I would, I would really miss the commute. There were some people that I did work with that I would, would miss a lot. Um, and what it would feel like to walk out like you, I think you did a guided meditation about the last day to like, yesterday was my last day. So wow. it felt very surreal having that moment when I'd been imagining it for so long. Yeah. Um, Cynthia, and then, like, can I, I, can I ask you the how long, how long from the time you mentally decided to leave till this weekend how long has that time been um well i you know i i thought about leaving for a while but i didn't take any action because i felt a lot of um guilt and yeah. loyalty and so uh and i'd also hadn't been there quite two years so i decided to wait until two years before i send out my resume um, I guess I could go look it up, but I think it's been about two and a half or three months. So that's okay. when I started having, at first I, you know, was submitting my resume and not getting calls and I'm super impatient. So for me, not getting calls like for two weeks, I was like, what is going on? Yes. Um, but then I started getting calls and, um, yeah. So, and even then I was still kind of like nervous about leaving, you know, and I kind of, part of you too, it's like, am I a failure? You know, I was kind of beating yep. myself up a little bit about not sticking it out. So um, anyway, but I just, 
especially when I would meditate with the guided meditations and the feelings of the freedom that I would have during those sessions mm. just were so powerful. And I, in the rest of my life, I have that kind of balance and joy and I don't, and this one area was just sucking all that joy out. Yeah. So, um, so it just it helped me to confirm that this was the right direction. It felt good. So sorry, my kids just came home. I can hear oh, them. Oh, that's yelling. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. No problem. No problem. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, so it was about two and a half or three months. Um, and I actually was able to give a lot of notice. Um, my new job was really generous. Let me give five weeks notice. Oh, lovely. And we had already planned some PTO. My husband and I went on a vacation um, about a week before we left or before I was leaving uh, my job. So it was like the celebration and we were with friends. It was so good. It just, it's been really wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah, but I could, I mean, the other one too, I think that you did this. It was just writing this down. There was an interview, interview you did who was in a creative field and that's something I love is the creativity of my job mm -hmm. um, and she was talking about um, just uh, just talking about um, being grateful for the things that she wanted and that was really powerful so I would make a list and I was like thank you marketing job mm -hmm. um, you've you've been really good to us I we actually were able to buy our dream house because of that job that I had yeah and not be a good fit for me long term. It, it was a wonderful thing for us and for me. And I learned a lot while I was there. Um, and we do really good work there, but it was just time for me to move on. So I don't have like negative feelings necessarily anymore, which is so good. Yes. You know? um, I did. Yeah. Do you want me to say, I feel like I'm talking a lot. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's good. No, you're on a roll. Um, was that the interview? Were you talking about the interview with Rachel, the one that had the creative business? Is that the one you're referring to? I, I'm not, I, I can't remember her name, um, but she was in California for a while and then she wanted to go back to New York, I think. Does that sound familiar? Oh, um, and I think she was, Ilde, it was, she was blonde, marketing. blonde. Um, yeah. Ildi yeah. Co. Yeah. Ildi Co. Yeah. I remember that interview. Yes, that yeah. Sounds right. that sounds yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That was, I actually watched that a couple of times and just took tons of notes, you know, yeah. and, and I was just trying to get into that same space because she's yeah. so happy and yeah. things just sort of like were serendipitous for her and how it aligned, you know? Yeah. And she was really clear about mm -hmm working on the affirmations, the scripting, the, yeah, she was really clear with the process. And I think when you're going to learn from someone, mm -hmm. if they can share the process very mechanically and systematically what they did, I think that really helps because it gives somebody else a template to follow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Back over, to you. Back over to you. I followed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I did. I followed her example of a couple of others, I think I saw, and then just from the meditation. So yeah, it came from a place of just trying to stay happy in my job. So something that makes me really happy is listening to um, <laughs> instrumental um, versions of music. And yeah, in the background, nobody listened to music, ever, but I didn't care. I was like, it brought me joy and um, yeah. <clears throat> just kind of little things like that. I, and I think was wouldn't it be great if yeah and so I, I played that game and i would write it down over and over again yeah um like so what like wouldn't it be great thing? if i could um like if i was working from home today now side no i'm not i didn't get a work at home time job my husband has one and i was thinking that would be wonderful but i'm still i'm a lot closer to home now so that's one the there's also other things that are happening that I feel like um, maybe the universe just has a plan that I'm not fully aware of yet, but I've made it really clear what I want and I want balance in my family and I want to feel included. Yeah. Um, that was something that was not going on before. Yeah. yeah. Respected <laughs> and appreciated. Um, and I would write that I am appreciated. I was sometimes if I was going into a really tough day at work, I would repeat over and over again. 
I am respected. I am rewarded. I am, um, uh, what was it? Um, I don't know. It was just turn over, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And now this, this team I'm going to be joining is very inclusive. They've been so welcoming already. And I just can't wait to get started. Actually. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so I need to work more on, uh, the, statements. I kind of want to sit down and spend some time this weekend on that actually, but because I did apply for several jobs and one, one came up that was my dream job. Um, it would be teaching full time. I teach on the side, so I would love to make that my full time job. Yeah. But, um, I, you know, I didn't get all for it, but what's wonderful at this new job is they pay for, um, tuition and I, so I could return to school, just something I always wanted to do. And I feel like it's just working out the way it's supposed to. Yeah. Even though I, it's maybe not what I thought it was the right direction. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. You know, Cynthia, I remember before I started um, coaching, like working with people, I'd applied for this job um, online and it was half, it was, it was coaching remotely from home and it was half in Sydney and half in London. And I remember thinking, oh my God, I want to be in both of those places. I, that's, that's my job. That's perfect. And, and I visualized it and I sent my resume in and I was so excited because I knew this was a perfect fit for me living in these two places. Anyway, two weeks went by, I heard nothing. And I thought, what? Like, this is so perfect. How can this not happen? Anyway, mm -hmm. it was about three months later, mm -hmm. um, within the three months, my own business started to take off. And when I started to really excel, I thought there is no way they would have let me do Neville Goddard in my coaching. There is no, that would have had to do their system of coaching. I would have had to fit within their constraints. I would have had to work the hours they wanted me to work. And I thought this was so much better than what they could have ever offered me. And also they would have had a ceiling as to what they would have paid me. Whereas when in your own business, it's, you know, you can do whatever you want. So as you can work as much as you want, if the work comes in and I thought, and now I understand why I didn't get that. Like what you're saying with your job, that yeah. looked, that looked like my dream job, but this mm -hmm. one actually allows me to, to study and they're going to help me do that this is heading me in a slightly different direction. So even though that looked perfect, sometimes you have that moment with hindsight where you go, Oh my God, this was actually even better. And I didn't see it. It was better. Yeah. yeah. It's funny that you brought that up because I do have some side things that I would like to work on. And what's been great about this is I have Fridays off, which I had before and I'll continue to have that. Mm. And it's very much, like eight to four kind of job. So it just perfectly aligns with like our family life. And then I can work on things on the side. Yeah. But if I was teaching, I mean, I already know this from working on the side teaching, <laughs> there is a lot of extra hours that you have mm. to, you know, mm. work that you're not necessarily paid well for. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that would probably conflict with some of the goals I have. And maybe that's the vehicle for some of the financial goals that we have. Um, so that's actually what I'm working on now. And this is, this is so powerful. I'm um, our next, the next sort of like area of my life I'd like to improve is financial. So I'd, we want to pay off our house and, yep. um, you know, get a decent nest egg, help other people. And, yep. and so now it's just about abundance and gratitude for what we have and, yep. and that sort of thing. Actually. So beautiful. It'll be, Oh no, my dog's coming. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's all right. Dogs and children can pop in and out. That's okay. We're, we, we're human and we have lives. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can see the yes, yes. <laughs> it's my day off. It's my most family. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. It's good. So, but I, 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 mostly I, was, I was excited to meet with you because I'm just so grateful for the resources that you put out on YouTube and to let us like experiment with them. And it's been really powerful for me. And yeah. it just per perfectly aligned with my, my, um, belief system and I've it's opened up some more possibilities for me that I didn't see before yeah yeah it's um you know that one thing that you said before about I kept focusing on all the stuff I didn't want and it's like 
Mm-hmm. It's almost, whether it's a relationship or a job or whatever, you have to start to mm-hmm. focus over here on the stuff that you do like, even if it's just, oh, I'm going to miss that when I go because you want to get the heck out of there. It's still focusing on something you appreciate right. and, you, and you disconnect from things in a much cleaner way so you don't drag all that into the next opportunity. So, but it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, habit. And, it's a habit you I have to practice. Also- Yeah, you have to be really intentional because I think I I notice that I kind of default back to that mentality sometimes, especially when I'm driving. I need to work on that too. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. get like this really bad <laughs> driving. Yes. But um, and that's one of the things that um, in that interview that you had earlier with who I was listening or taking a lot of notes from. But she also mentioned that she's using the same techniques so that she can establish really good boundaries and have work-life balance and um, yeah. uh, have good relationships. And that uh, I'm transitioning to that a little bit right now. So um, just trying to be in a really good, be grateful for the, the really good things that are happening right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm at. I, I was going to ask you though, um, after, you know, after I got the job offer, I have a funny story too about the job offer. Yeah. Um, I just felt like just so, so much gratitude and I wondered, I have, I wasn't able to find any YouTube videos from anybody uh, kind of being in like having some sort of moment of gratitude for the manifestation. Like, yeah, that's gotta be the, no. And I'm curious, like, do you have a practice of that as your routine when you manifest, manifest something? It may be an obvious question, but I was just curious. Like you mean, um, like like you right now being in the weekend where you've left your old job and you go into your new job, like that kind of a gratitude meditation? Like that kind of thing or like the moment we got the job offer, I, I just, just freaking out. Like I yes. ran around with my family and we're like, <laughs> I can't believe this happens. And, um, and I just felt like this moment where take advantage of this energy yes. <laughs> um, and just be, cause there was so much, you know, and I wondered like, is there, I just don't know if there's something that you do with that energy or to focus it somewhere or you just let yourself just be grateful in that moment. Well, no, that's a, that's a really good question because it is so hard as you know, well, it feels hard to get to that moment because you've put in all this work of, of letting go of doubt, focusing on what you want, living in the end, you know, doing ho'oponopono, whatever you've done, you finally reach the moment where the manifestation is hatched. And you're like, you're saying the, the surge of energy, the surge of joy, the surge of happiness, the surge of, I did it is finally here. I think if you can like what you were saying about, okay, my next thing is the financial goes, paying off the house, doing this, doing that. If you can sit in meditation and use that amazing energy that you're in right now to piggyback on the next one. Yeah, that, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. So yes, yes, yes. I'm really glad you brought this up because I've done it quite a few times, but I don't think I've ever spoken about it. It's never come to mind, but yeah, like if you, go, if you go to bed tonight and you go, okay, I'm going to pick um, a money meditation or I'm going to pick a, you know, dream home meditation or wh- whichever one, financial goals, whatever it is, and you do that meditation and you inject the feeling you've got into that, that's going to accelerate be- be- the, the manifestation because you have got the exact amazing feeling place that is so challenging to get to <laughs> but you're yes. right you're like yes. you're right in the eye of the cyclone you're right in it the good cyclone not a negative one but you're right in the <laughs> eye of it yeah absolutely milk it and use it for the next thing definitely like see see um that yeah. the, the, the bank's actually giving you the piece of paper with the you know your loans paid in full or that you receive the email from them or that you and your husband are jumping around going, Oh my God, we did it. We did it. We did it sooner than we thought. Or 
that you're able to take the kids to something that you said, we'll only do that once the house is paid off or whatever, that you have conversations with the family or you have, you can actually, Cynthia, do that in, if, because well, I'm getting really excited right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fantastic. <laughs> but you can pick, um, you can also pick the living in the end meditations for that because there's some that are neutral. They're not um, about, a relationship or money or a house or whatever you can do the pick a meditation for living in the end and then you can inject your own scenes in those moments of silence where there's music only where you actually feel and see it completed so yeah I'm really glad you brought this up because I don't think I've ever like it's just something that's been in my head and I do on my own but I've never actually talked about it so it's a fantastic question because yes people manifest You've got the most incredible energy mm -hmm. naturally without you having to try and get there because you've done all the work to get yourself to that moment. So, yeah, this weekend, whoo, ride the surfboard. <laughs> yeah. Right, exactly. And the, it's like it's almost like it's hard to get to that vibration where you're, there's power. And yes. that's, yeah, I wanted to figure out. But, and it's also like I want to, I really do want to be like in this place of gr gratitude. Um, because it's just been amazing. I, I'd love to tell you the story though about the offer. Yes, go for so it. Go for we had, it. So I, I had been talking to um, the hire or the team uh, director who was going to be hiring, or who been talking about wanting to hire me and had very good interviews. In fact, when I started interviewing, I was kind of nervous about it because it was from a place that I used to work and everything's changed now, but it just, you know, like when you go back to an old place of work, you just kind of know what the challenges are, but it's different now. So I, it was just kind of residual, these conversations <laughs> and it sounded like they were going to make me an offer. And she's like, do you have any questions? And I was, and I just said, you know, I don't remember the range of pay. Can you just let me know what the base range is? And she sent it to me. Well, it was only like half a dollar less than I'm making now per hour. and thought, uh, well, I mean, I don't want to leave if I, unless I have some sort of incentive, you know? Yeah. And so I just said, well, that's yeah. great. Is there room that's less than I'm making now? And I was going to put a dollar amount. I was just going to put like maybe one or two dollars more. And my husband <laughs> stopped me because I had him read it before. And he said, just don't do that. Just, just don't put a number. Just say, is there room to negotiate? So she's like, yeah, it'll just be based on your experience and your our HR manager actually does an evaluation and she'll send you an offer. Well, okay. she sent it to me. It was like over $5 more an hour. Woo! <laughs> nice. Doubt. I know. And the benefits are the same and they pay for tuition and it's closer to home. Like it's just meeting all these things that were just bringing, you know, negativity to me before. And then the yeah. team is wonderful. So it yeah. just made it easy to say yes. And yeah. I just feel, I already valued and so it's going to, I'm, I'm really excited about it, but oh, yeah, I thought that was a funny story. <laughs> oh. And how much shorter is your commute now? Well, my daughter is actually, I drop her off for school and then it's about a 40 hour or 40 minute commute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, but it's a, like I mentioned, like I get to look at the ocean and there's farm farms in between me and the ocean. And, but now I'll just drive her to school and it's a few blocks away. <laughs> Oh, so I really? don't have, I pretty much don't have a commute from her. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's so great. That is really so great. Yeah. You know, it made me think just you talking about Ildiko's interview. I remember when, uh, cause I interviewed her when she had left her job that she was really not happy with. And she was in that in between. And then we did the interview when she'd finally been offered something and she was just waiting to go to the next job. But she, I remember she talked about, we discussed pre-paving before she got there where she loved her colleagues and they got on really well and they would have lunch together or have coffee or whatever. And they just had really good relationships. And I thought it's not just about creating and, and finally manifesting that fabulous end result. You can actually, just before you hop in, start to line up it being even more amazing than what it just you walking in without doing that. And I thought it was so wonderful to see someone applying something 
to get the manifestation and then correcting and lining up anything else, any residue from that job, you know, where you didn't get on with colleagues or things just uh, where she did do that. And I thought, wow, that is just, it's like your pinpointed focus is just, you're, you're unfolding it before you arrive. I just love that. Love that. Brilliant. Yeah, and I can see it too. Like, if I hadn't, if I wasn't more, um, um, what's the word, intent about what I want to change about from, yeah. I, I could easily fall into the same cycle again. Um, yeah. So I just want to be more vigilant and and grateful for the good things that are happening constantly while I'm there, especially when it comes to relationships. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I I really I. And I'm, re- I'm really grateful for all of the help that you get. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. Like this stuff is so, it's endlessly interesting how you can extend. Well, it's like you're, you're unfolding the path before you put your feet on it, so to speak. It, it's so exciting to know that life's not random. It's not random. It's, re- it's responding to you. And once you know that, Wow, one area at a time, your money, your job, your relationships, where you live, your body conditions, your relationships with friends and family, traveling. It's like you can just go on and on and just everything becomes so incredible and your energy, instead of always running out of energy and going below zero and taxing yourself and being exhausted, you start to work out ways to conserve energy. Like you, you're not commuting as far. You're getting paid a bit more. You've got, you know, it just feels better. The place feels better. The the people, like you just, it's kind of you sit in a little nest that's so much more nurturing for who you are, your values, your morals, your character, your body clock, all those things. It's And that, to be able to do that in life is such a, an exciting thing it's exciting oh absolutely and I have people in my life who they just don't look at life that way and I just I'm so grateful that I have like this you know insider information (laughs) if you want to say that and yeah and it's funny though I really did use it before I knew what it was I mean that's how I met my husband and he is wonderful where we just have the best life and our family and you know like that to me that's a foundation for yeah how much happiness I have in my life right now and, but if I look back at the techniques I've learned recently or even the past 10 years I was using them 30 years ago before yeah. I met you know my husband so yeah. you just don't know necessarily that that's what brought it and um it's just being positive and having a really good imagination yeah <laughs> and, and believing in the possibility because sometimes we talk out of that um, and we think, oh, well, you know, I need to just be grateful for what I've got and just deal with it. But that's not always, and sometimes it does get better. I, you know, I've heard stories about that where, you know, relationships will improve and then it's fine. And, but sometimes it's a sign, a sign that I, I need, I was ready for something new. Yeah. Um, so it just feels really good to be moving now. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's brilliant. <laughs> Cynthia, I can't remember. Did I read your story out? Did you send it and I read it out on a YouTube or not? I, I don't think you read it. No, you didn't read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, if, if I, the, cop, the story you sent me, are you okay if I read it in your own words? Because I think <laughs> I've done it the wrong oh, way sorry. around. But normally I read it first and then I interview. But with you, I've interviewed you first. Because I think when you, the way That's you wrote fine. it, <laughs> yeah, it gives like kind of the details. So, um. Yeah, I will read it out for people then because it's... Okay, sounds good. (laughs) Yeah, it's wonderful. It really is wonderful too. And I think too, I mean, we spend so much time having to work until you understand how to do this better. I mean, the fact is too, you're you're working four days, you've got Fridays off, so that means you've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Balance, balance. I mean, you are a mum. you've got kids, you know, you've got a husband, you've got other things that you want to do just for your own self. I mean, it gives you two days is really not enough. I think personally, I think three days is yeah. absolutely way better. <laughs> yeah, you know? I agree. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, it really, it doesn't have to be the nine to five Monday to Friday anymore. I mean, that's the old way. And if, if some people like that, that's great if it suits you and, and you love what you're doing, but it's not for everyone. And it, it's funny that you brought that up because I forgot to mention that they actually offered me a full-time position or a four-day four week four day position. Four day week. I actually, I, I responded to them and said, I'll take the full time, but you know, the summers are really difficult for me to have a full job when, you know, my kids are home from school. And so if that's a possibility, I'll take it. And they're like, actually, we talked to HR that that's not going to work. Well, thank you for giving me the option of the, the four day a week position. But I was grateful that it didn't work out with just the summers off because I need these Fridays, you know, yeah. and, um, I'm just, you know, I'm enjoying this day with my family and getting some things done that I don't get done during the weekday. And so, yeah, um, yeah, it's just, it just kind of is working out the way it's supposed to. Yeah. So, ah, oh, so great. So great. And I'll be, I'll be um, interested to see when you put this energy into the next segment, you know, to move on to those other goals. It'll be a lovely thing to see what sprouts. I, f I find when I've manifested something really big, like when I went, like with you, I transited from the job that I loved how creative it was, but it was physically smashing me to pieces as I got older. When I finally let go of that and then yeah. I thought, what the heck am I going to do? I'm getting older. I don't have skills in other areas, but I had done, you know, obviously 30 years of study with this, but I thought that's my personal life. That's got nothing to do with my job. But when I thought, okay, I'm going to mm -hmm. move. What if I could actually do something that this, I could combine what I really love personally and put that into my work. And then it started to take off and then it manifested. And then I was thinking, Oh, this is so great. I'm, and like what you mentioned, feeling as much as you can, I am free. That was a huge little nugget in yeah. the whole process because you feel so trapped when you do not like your job or you don't like the people or you, they're not your flock, so to speak. You're not working with people that are like you. You're not understanding right. each other. It's yeah. not gelling. Um, and you go, okay, even though I know everyone's me pushed out, I actually don't want to spend time correcting this. I want to go and move on to a new flock. This is my choice. And you go, okay. And then that whole um, process of using that energy to go, wow, I've done this. Let's me inject this into the next thing. And for me, it was travel that I, I'd made a statement. I will now want to travel four times a year and that it's paid, you know, that it's debt free and there's, and there's, I'm able to move around and see the people I love. And I would imagine being in the South of France, you know, with my family and I'd walk through the village and then I'd go to London and imagine myself with my, um, my partner. And then I'd be in Sydney with my mom. And so I could see everybody that I love. And I remember thinking, wow, if, if I could pull this off, that would be the ultimate freedom. And it's like now, that's been going on for two... Absolutely. Well, since 2016. 2016, January is when, when that started for me. And I remember thinking, wow, that energy of that first manifestation of the business starting to work and this being able to, to coach people and talk about Neville and do YouTubes and do all this stuff that was really fun that I... It's just, uh, you know, it excites me no end because I love it, seeing people get relief and, and feeling relief myself first because I thought I can't talk about this until I've done it myself. Oh yeah. So it's mm -hmm. like once that happened, then the travel kind of piggybacked on that other manifestation. So like what you're saying, you know, about the using this energy, the energy of that went into the travel manifestation. It piggybacked on that. And then that created more freedom. So then it's like, okay, what's next? What do I want? To, the energy's flowing, moving, it's going. What need, What direction am I going to send it into now? How am I going to live in the end? How am I going to live in the wish fulfilled? And, and you tapped yeah. into it. Yeah. You yeah. tapped into it. So yeah. You have the power to do it. <laughs> yeah. And like you said, it, you said it earlier in the interview, it's not easy to tap into getting that power. 
it's like you feel so shackled by yeah. feeling trapped to go from feeling trapped to feeling power. That's kilometers yeah. apart. It's a long, it feels like a long way, but right. it, it, once you get that, that thing oiled and the cogs are moving, it's like, don't drop the ball because if you drop the ball, you got to go back and start again. So keep it moving, right. keep the focus, keep the energy, keep the emotion, keep the, I'm free. I'm free. I'm going to say goodbye to this. I'm saying goodbye to this. I'm going to be leaving. I am going to miss that person, you know? I used to feel intense suffocation walking into yeah. this big shopping center I used to work in and I'd be like, <gasps> I have to be there for eight hours. Like I was, you know, shopping centers, you can't even see the outside, you know? So you'd have to, how the hell am I going to feel free right. when I feel so suffocated? But you got to work out a way. you got to work. That I out. totally relate to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. And you're one yeah. day, you're one day it's of saying so, goodbye. It's, so, it's just, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, and I, I mean, I, yeah, it's, I, I still, I'm starting to get like a little bit anxious thinking about that feeling going in like, okay, I, and I had a pretty good gig. Like I was working three days a week in the office and then I was working from home one day a week. It just, it didn't, yeah. that's when I kind of knew that it was not good because I was still having so much anxiety and, um, yeah. <sighs> I know panic. <laughs> yeah, it is. So I just, I'm anyway, I, I got the offer. I got the offer. I, t I gave my notice right before we left on vacation or I went right before we were gone on a long weekend. Actually, we had went to pick up my daughter at college and that whole weekend I was just in absolute pure joy yeah. and <laughs> relief. It feels so good to be in that it state. Does. And the contrast of that with the, the trapped it's like of course you don't want to be in that but it's yeah. like the more you focus on it the longer you're in it so yeah. just just start to find any little thing that will yeah. you know get you you know to at least get your mind off of that and dwelling off of that and yeah um so really just like things that I would miss that seemed believable because I wasn't it's hard to imagine that oh I'm I have the best job when you're sitting in an office and hating your job um so instead I would be like, yeah, like I'll really miss this. And, um, but then on my way home, I, I would maybe raise it a little bit more and do the more of the I am statements that I could believe if I wasn't physically there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I totally understand. What, what I am statements did you do, Cynthia? Um, I am statements. I'm sorry. Um, I actually have them written down. So I am respected. I am loved. I am appreciated. I am peaceful. Yeah. I am balanced. Um, I think here's one. Marketing job for serving me so well to meet my financial and professional goals. I've learned so much. And although it's time for me to move on, I thank you for your, our time together. My, my wish for you is that you will find someone who will serve you well and love their job. Uh, so that's hard. That one was hard for me. Yeah. Part of you wants to be like, part of you wants to be like, um, they're going to miss us. They're going to miss me. And, yeah. uh, but the truth is I want, I want someone to be able to, to go into that position and, and feel like they are respected and part of the team and yeah. um, appreciated. And so, cause you don't, I really don't want to, so that yeah. I, I was trying to get to that place where I could really have a desire for them to find somebody better for them, mm -hmm. a better fit for them. Yeah. And that's really, it's like, you're not just wishing for you to have what you want, but you're wishing for the hole and the spot that you leave behind. It's like, you've kind of scrubbed the surface for the next person to sit on there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a little bit. There's some birds writing behind me. Oh, <laughs> lovely, 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 lovely. I don't know if it was a good idea to be outside. I'm I know, sorry. it's great. I love random animals. I, you know, I've got, um, before I got on with you, I've got, I'm at an Airbnb in Sydney and there's chickens down below. So I went and fed them because I thought, because they go, wah, 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 and I thought that's going to come <laughs> into it. <laughs> so they're really quiet now. I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, of course they are. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, what would we do without nature? I just couldn't live without it. 
Oh yeah. Oh, I know. I love it here. I'm, I'm glad I'll be able to spend more time cause I won't be in a commute. Yeah. Yeah. You look like you're in an amazing oh, nature okay. spot there. I'm gonna, I'll keep you informed though about, Oh yeah. It's so beautiful. We're excited about, uh, about being here. I just, I've been so busy and stressed out. I just, I feel like I haven't been able to enjoy it like we wanted to, but yeah, but I want to keep you informed about the progress because I do yeah. kind of in the work. So I'll email you. Yeah. Hopefully sure. with success soon. <laughs> yeah. And look, if you want to, um, you know, if you feel to in a, in a few months or something where you've been at the job for a while and you want to share how it's going and, and that, you know, the next sort of level of enjoying the manifestation, yeah. you know, just send me an email and we'll pop back on and do a little, because I think it's nice for people to see the post manifestation too, not just when you got it, but how it unfolded, all the good bits that you would project, oh, sure. visualized, affirmed, what happened with that. So yeah. Yeah. Good. Absolutely. I'm happy to. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Have you got anything that you had written down that you wanted to share or did we go, did we go through it? Um, I think I went through most of it. Um, I just have long winded stuff like the, wouldn't it be nice? Yeah. Um, like little things. So I was working from home and I'm hoping someday that's, I feel like this is the next step to maybe that where I'll be able to have my own business working from home. Yeah. Full time the wage yeah. that we could pay off the house and all of that. Yeah. Um, but for now I'm really happy where I'm at. I'm, you know, I feel like it's the logical next thing, but, um, one of them was, was wouldn't it be nice if I could have lunch with uh, my husband on the porch? Uh, wouldn't that be great? I mean, right now it's not a reality. Yeah. Um, um, and then I did a lot of, I'm, I'm going to miss like the connections and the community that I had in my last job. Um, I had a fan that works um, like my computer system. I'm going to miss that. Yeah. And that doesn't mean I won't have it, but I, you know, I'm really grateful for it, you know? Yes. Um, not really. I think I went over most of it. I'm working on some other stuff, but that's not really, um, it's not really about the job switch, but yeah, that, maybe that'll be for the next video. <laughs> that'll be, for, that'll be the, to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, uh, Cynthia, thank you so much for coming. It's just, yeah. what a gift, what a gift. I, I just think having meaningful work that is better than the last place you were at, mm -hmm. that is one of the greatest things in life because it makes you feel good. In our, so when you're with friends, family, you're not in complaint. You're in just that sheer, you, you, you're, you feel good about where you are. You feel good about what the tasks you do. You feel good about what you're giving in the workplace and you go to work to sit and you say more, what can I can, what can I give here today rather than what can I get from this place? You know, you change. It's a maturing right. in the workplace mentally. You're mature. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Oh, sure. And I think, um, I definitely, and like I said before, I've learned a lot. I think it was a really good step for me to have this experience. I think it'll be probably for contrast and it'll help me to be more grateful for where I'm at next, yeah. I feel like. So um, yeah. I am really grateful yeah. for the experience, but we did really good work. I still actually really love the work I was doing, but it was time to move on um, yeah. just so I could be in a better place with relationships mm -hmm. in all areas of my life. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because it does, like you're saying, you're, you're at home, you're on a day off, but when you've got all that crap going on in the background, you're not even present because you're like anxious and you're missing the whole day yeah. off because you've got all yeah. that preoccupation. It's terrible. It pollutes all your days off this stuff. It really does. So yeah, to be free of that right. and have a weekend like you have now, you're in between and you can enjoy yeah. the weekend and enjoy. <laughs> It's great. It's great. Well done to you. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. So to the viewers, and thank you for your help. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> my pleasure. I uh, to me, when someone breaks free, that to me I, is one of the greatest things to witness. It's just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. So for the viewers, mm -hmm. I will put Cynthia's story um, up on the next YouTube in the next day or two, so you can hear it in her words.
And Cynthia, are you able to answer any comments in the thread down below if you have time? Every now and again, pop in and I'm sure people want to ask. Sure. Stuff. Cool. All right. Well, do you want to yeah, say? I'd be happy to. Great, <laughs> great. You want to say goodbye to everybody before we sign off? Yep. Good. Goodbye, everybody, and good luck in your yeah in your manifestations. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for listening to our interview, and I'll see you in the next YouTube. Cynthia, stay on, and we'll say goodbye in private. Bye, everybody. Okay, sounds good.